Now this shoreline here, now why do you like this so much? I mean, I can see where there's some stick-ups and whatnot, but what's the, uh, what's the attraction here for the spawners? Well, it's a good protected area, and uh, a lot of little shallow places, little cover in shallow water here for them to uh, spawn by. And you know, it's got a real hard bottom. You can see the red clay dirt there mm -hmm. along mm -hmm. the shore. And there's a lot of little irregular shoreline ins and outs, and the fish like that when they're spawning, because when they're shallow, they, they really they really are a lot spookier. And you know, the better the the terrain is, the le the better they feel about being there. Last year, this particular area that we're in here, I mean, the water was a lot clearer. Oh, I got there you go. There. Oh yeah, that's a good one too. This area that we're in. Last year, I mean, you could see a lot of good fish in here on the bed. That's a nice bass there. It sure is. Very nice. About a three pounder. Yeah. That's a pretty picture. Yeah. This is uh, oh yeah. This is something that you can expect on Randleman Lake. This is a, a fish that there are so many of in this lake. Um, it's not uncommon for guys to come down here and catch 25 or 30 this size, and even larger, but. This is what you can expect, about a two and a half to three pound bass. Real healthy. Oh yeah, let's, and, uh, uh, let's uh, put him in live. Let me get my camera out. We'll take a few pictures of him. That's a great looking right. picture. He's yeah. bright colors, spawning yeah, kind of him. make a good fish for oh, pictures. Yeah, let's take a picture. Let me get my camera. Okay. Hey Joe, you know, I noticed that that tree has just been recently cut and chained there. What's the deal with that? I mean, did... You know, um, I've just noticed it myself. Uh, what they're doing, is they're doing an enhancement for the fishing. They're adding structure to the lake. I, I noticed between today and yesterday, everywhere I go, I'm seeing these trees cut down and they're cabled off, I guess, so they'll stay put there. But that is gonna make for really good for crappy fishing and, and largemouth bass. I mean, the more cover you got, the more, the more predators there are to, to hide there and it's, it's going to make the fishermen a better opportunity to catch them. And obviously, you know, for the average Joe coming out on the weekend, it's obvious that's those are the places to fish. You exactly. know what I mean? I mean, you don't need that. You can have a fun day. Yeah, you know, this lake has got a lot of lot of structure in it, a lot of rocks, and there's quite a few stumps and little stick-up brush piles and things that's in it. Now they're cutting these trees down. Seems like about every cove I go in, I see a couple of them. Oh yeah, good job. Twice on that stump. Come back. Yeah, that's another one. That's a keeper. Good job. All righty. You put him in the box for a picture? Yeah, put him in the pool. Let's keep another picture. We can take a nice picture of that last one. Let's take uh, another one. Let's take a picture of this one. Now, Joel, as far as the time of day, I mean, you know, we're kind of in a later pre-spawn, early spawn kind of thing. I mean, do you find that you catch them first thing in the morning or do you find as the day goes on, low light, you know, midday, I mean, yeah, it's something I've always done, and, and I think it works pretty good. Uh, maybe best for me, uh, I try to catch the pre-spawn fish early in the day. That way I can get away with fishing faster. And, mm -hmm. and uh, But it seems like when the sun gets up during the day, them bass that are in there in them coves spawning, it seems like to me they get easier to catch the later in the day it gets because, you know, they're getting bombarded by these bluegill trying to get the eggs off their nest. And uh, bluegill, you know, they're dormant at night. So in the day, the longer they get me messed with by them, ba by them bluegill, the bass, they just get ill. And it seems like to me, they're easier to catch later in the day. And the brighter the sun gets, the more aggressive them bluegill get. So a cloudy day is really not a good day to be catching fish off the bed. They're a little harder because the bluegill are not as active on a cloudy day. So you got to make sure you know, you know, whether to target the pre-spawners or, or the actual spawners based on a lot of different things exactly. like you're saying. That's right. Yeah, that's exactly right. Oh man, he whacked it. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Very that's nice what fish. we like right there. Well, he eat that swim bait up yeah. now. Yeah, nice fish. Oh yeah, man. 
That's why we come bass fishing in the spring. That's why we come bass fishing. <laughs> Look how he got it. He come out of there and meant business on it. It's something about being on this side. I don't know what it is, but that certainly did the trick. Woo, that's our little deputy sheriff there. What do you think? That's a five? Pushing five. Picture? Yeah, oh, I'd like a picture of that one. All right. Man, that's... All right. Nice fish. Mm. Now, he come out of there and uh, showed his tail. <laughs> that was neat. Yeah. That was a very Goodness. nice fish.